Yeah, so I may be a cranky old prick, but that doesn't mean I'm not a trendy old prick. I keep up with some of today's fads and I don't think just because it's new it's automatically fucked. Oh, except for your music. Today's music really is shit. And I also have a problem with Facebook. Not the concept, as it's allowed me to catch up with old schoolmates and army buddies and the like, and it can be good. My problem is with you dumb asses who just don't know how to drive it. Now, the problem with Facebook is that you need an element of self-infatuation to be on it. But some of you narcissistic morons must spend 90% of your time typing with one hand, and it's ruining the social media experience for the rest of us. So here's a few indicators and hints to help you recognise if you're a Facebook fucktard, either to help you fix it or share it on to fucktards you know and don't know how to approach. My far the most harrowing experience I've had on Facebook happened after accepting a friend's invitation from this old bird at work. Like, I knew she was into running or something and she was always crapping on about it. But could you imagine my horror after logging onto Facebook one morning to be confronted with a photo of this exhausted looking dishevelled 60 year old in Lycra displaying the biggest, gnarliest looking camel toe you ever seen in your life? I mean, Jesus Christ, woman, look at the photo before posting it. Learn Photoshop or the crop function at least. I'm still waking up in the middle of the night fucking screaming. So please, if you exercise regularly, that's great. Especially if you're old and exercise regularly. But no one else cares. Hey, I'm old and I shit regularly, which is also an achievement, but I'm not going to fucking post about it. If you want to tell people about your exercising, find a runner's page or something. There's probably someone out there who gives a fuck. If every now and then when cruising the internet you come across something funny, insightful, interesting, cute or whatever, and feel it's worth sharing on Facebook, then I've got no real drama with that. But if you're doing this more than three times a week, then stop. You're being a Facebook fucktard. You're annoying and boring people. If you actually believe you have some sort of fucking internet seeking superpower or something, then create a special page and post it there. That way, if you actually have fans of this shit, they can still follow your brilliant insights and the rest of us can stop wanting to punch in the fucking face. And if you're one of these cockheads who share those, share if you love your mother, father, son, daughter, brother, sister, cat, dog, Jesus or whatever, then don't. It doesn't make you look like a better person. It makes you look like a fucking idiot. These posts were created by exploitative wankers trying to outdo each other in the number of shares they get. Mindlessly clicking a share button proves nothing. If you really want to support veterans, stop cruelty, fight cancer, or whatever the fucking motive trigger they're using at the time, then get off your fucking ass and actually do something about it. And finally, when it comes to compulsive sharing, let me share a secret with you. The internet isn't magic. Sharing a post within 20 seconds won't make your wish come true or give you good luck or whatever the fuck the post says and nothing amazing is going to happen after you share it. And if you think there's no harm in sharing these things, stating, oh, why not, I've got nothing to lose, then try to put a bit more value on your own dignity and credibility. Here's a trivia question for you. When was the last time someone said, woohoo, one of my Facebook friends just sent me a game invite? Fucking never. That's when. The only candy crush I've ever had was when I was in love with a stripper, but then somehow ended up marrying an angry bird. Listen, if you want to play Facebook games, then good luck to you. And if you find one that may interest one of your friends, then send them an invite and tell them all about it. But if you're just attempting to prostitute your mates to get in-game bonuses, then go fuck yourself. Now, if you, if you really want these friends bonuses that these games offer, then open another Facebook account and use it for gaming only. Now, I know it's against Facebook policy, but hey, live dangerously. Fuck the police. Most Facebook games have Facebook social pages you can join, where you can friend as many people as you want to get whatever bonuses you want, without annoying people you know.
At the risk of sounding more like an old fogey, a word of advice to the young ladies who appear to be posting provocative photos of themselves just to see many likes they can get. A copper mate of mine who investigates the sexual exploitation of children confirms that there is a market for these types of photos and no matter what your Facebook security settings are, there's probably some dirty old fat deviant jerking off to your photos as we speak. How sexy do you feel now? Oh, and to my peers who post sexy photos of themselves on Facebook, lol. My favourite thing about Facebook is that socialising in your own time. You pick when you want to catch up with others and you choose how long you want to do it for. But when you do log on, inevitably someone messages you. Again, I've got no real drama with this, but if you're going to message someone, at least have a point and the attention span and courtesy to complete the transaction. Good day, mate. What's up? Yeah, come on. Fuck, I'm not after your life story. Fuck. What did... What? Took you half an hour to come up with that? Jesus, fucking... About to watch the footy. Are you watching the game? What's he doing? Is he consulting a life coach or something? Oh. Jesus. Fuck off. <laughs>